I'm Chance, the gardener. And the gardener? Yes. Since I was a child, I worked in this garden. Then you really are a gardener? Oh, yes. May I ask your name? <coughs> Chance the gardener. <laughs> Mr. Chancey Gardener, are you related to Basil and Perdita Gardener? No, I'm not related to Basil and Perdita. Gobbledygook. You know, Chauncey, there's something about you. You don't play games with words to protect yourself. I had no brains at all. The stuff with rice pudding between the ears. On television, Mr. President, you look much smaller. Dumb as a jackass. As long as the roots are not severed, all is well. And all will be well in the garden. In the garden. Hmm. 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 Coffin, I'll leave some information on Mr. Chauncey Gardner's background. What do you mean he's got no background? That's impossible. Listen to that boy. Mr. Gardner, the New York Times spoke of your peculiar brand of optimism. What was your reaction to that? I do not know what it means. Oh, he was very clever, keeping it at a third grade level. That's what they understand. He's very, very sexy. But I think he's brilliant. I raised that boy. It's always uh, somewhat surprising to find men like yourself working so intimately with the president and yet somehow managing to remain relatively unknown. Yes, it is surprising. And look at him now. I can't write. Well, I heard he speaks eight languages. I can't read. I like to watch TV. All you gotta be is white in America to get whatever you want. I understand.